so one thing I noticed, you know, um, you be kicking it with Lil Frank and JP a lot. You know, but um, I want to know what's your relationship with like Lil Frank and, and um, how did that link? How did y'all link up? Um, so me and Lil Frank, we had met at school. We went to high school together. Mm, okay. Um, I think like yeah, we met like in the cafeteria at school, and she. Uh, I was graduated though, and he was still in school. But yeah, that's how we met. It. That's what's up. So um, I you know it's crazy because I don't know if y'all got some music. I was trying to find it. I'm like, I don't think they got no music together. At least, at least not out. I don't know. I could be wrong. But I tried to search high and low, and I couldn't really well, find anything. Is I can't talk on that. But okay. It's stuff to come in. It's okay. Coming. Okay. Okay. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all always chilling. Y'all always together. You know what I'm saying? Rocking, rocking out shows. And, and what's up with you in the other relationship with JP? I see y'all cool too. JP, shit, that's my guy. Mm -hmm. Like he always be supporting this shit. Shout out JP. Shout out JP, your brand man. For like sure. I don't know, he's just a very nice person. Like Definitely. very genuine. Mm -hmm. And I like being around happy, genuine mm -hmm. people. I actually seen his piano. Uh, a cappella orchestra with you and that was actually dope you asked the uh the caption was did, does he have the best uh version i yeah. believe it was that a cappella i think did, does he have the best i think he he had one of the best ones for sure for mm -hmm. sure um do y'all got some music together you and jp no we finna do some music together okay now. okay i'm looking forward to that i'm looking forward to that one thing i noticed about your career jada um you really take it serious and what caught my attention and how i know that is because you drop your music on your own platform you don't get that from many artists nowadays so i want to know what made you choose that route and why um well i've been building my fan base I, as i see for like some years like YouTube, like it's pretty, pretty hard to get views and the subscribers on YouTube. It is. So when I started doing music, I started off doing it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So my YouTube goes back probably five, six years. I see that. I was just, I see that. You know, posting. So. And you got some good numbers on there. Oh uh, yeah. Some great numbers actually. But yeah, the reason why I really don't do it on other people's platform because. I kind of want to build my own type of, like sometimes it's good to like have your know, stuff on other people's platform, mm -hmm. like any other time sprinkle so you can catch some of their fan base, but I really want like to build my own type of niche, my own fan base. And then, you know, pop out on other people's stuff like Correct. every now and then, you know what I'm saying? Correct. I think that's a very smart strategic strategy mm -hmm. because um, like I said, you don't get that from artists like that you know they'll be quick to drop it on whoever shot the video page yeah you know? no i don't like that it's i i had a couple of videographers that oh i'm gonna drop it on my page i'm like no nah, does that drop does, it on does my that page. cause conflict i mean not to cut you off does that does that cause conf uh you know friction between you and the videographer when once you guys want to do that or no i just tell them straight up i'm like like soon like when we film it like when i get to the music video i'll be like Okay, when it's done, send it to me because I'm going to drop it on my channel. Correct. But then it was one time where, um, uh, what's some call it, a videographer mm -hmm. that was like, oh, I'm going to drop it or whatever on my channel. I'm like, I'm trying to drop it on my channel. Correct. And I'm just like, shit, well, you, we could both drop it. Like, you know what I'm <laughs> right. saying? Right. It was double care. promotion at that point. So, but the thing is about that, shit, we was both dropping it. But the thing is, he dropped it before I dropped it on my own channel. So it was just like, type stuff. And then like, he ain't even sent me the video yet. He just posted on his channel. And then I'm like, I ain't even get the video, none of that. Mm. And then he finally sent the video to me. And then I posted it. So. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, shout out to you for making that brave and bold and smart decision. And uh, to, to all the video videographers out there, it's nothing personal you know what i'm saying we want to build our own platform sometimes so sometimes the product that we pay for we just like to you know drop it on our own platform that's mm -hmm. that's it that's all moving along um by you being a hard working woman in the city of milwaukee like i said or like you said you've been putting in work 
for quite some years now. You need that crown, like right? You said. <laughs> right. Um, and like you said, like I said, being a woman, I want to know how you feel about the remarks that Lakia has been making recently about the city. Um. Well, I just feel like. Well, if she did say it, I'm not, I don't know if it's true or not, but okay. if she did say it, I feel like it's false and it's not true um, because we have a lot of talent. A lot of people that have talent in Milwaukee, they just underground and mm. they don't get enough attention as, you know, these other artists get in. Mm-hmm. Most of the underground people that's not up, up, they better than most of the artists that are. Say it again. So... Mm-hmm. It's just that they don't have the clout and the fame like how others do, but they they got the um you know the talent. I could feel that. I like that. So how do, what do you feel about the women artists in a city as a whole? Like you know like oh yeah, the women artists like it's up like okay. it's lit like For sure. it's gonna be a it's a lot of y'all. It's, it's a lot of y'all. It's finna be a women, you know, women finna take over the rap game. For sure. Game, it's a lot of y'all sure. doing your thing. Um, I actually just ran across a billboard, man. Shout out, if if she see this, shout out to Tiffany Terry. I, I seen that billboard, man. It's, it's, y'all, man, women is definitely taking over okay, the Okay, Tiffany Terry, okay, <laughs> showing real. out for the women. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. Link up with her, you know what I'm saying? You piano, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? That's definitely. Um... Moving along, I just want to know who are some of your female favorite artists. Even though you did say uh, Alicia Keys and you know Mary J. Blige, th- those were like your inspirations. But like, I want to know like, like newer, like the newer, newer artists, right? Um, if if they're any. Right now, I say like Lola Brooke. Okay. I say Young Devin. I like Young Devin. Um. I don't know if you know who Fly J is, but she mm. was on um, what's that show with Jermaine Dupri and um, um, Lotto, yeah. the rap game. Okay. Fly J. Uh, oh, I like Lotto too. Yeah, Lotto. Okay. Um, Shout out to Lotto. She City Girls. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, because you kind of you your music is kind of well rounded around a lot of those sounds. You know what I'm saying? You got the. Alicia Keys, you know, if you want to tone it down, if you want to turn up, you got that side. You know what I mean? So I yeah, applaud you. I applaud you on that. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 